guys, in today's video we are going to show you how to connect your leash on the most safest way possible. There are a lot of options that could be dangerous, but we are going to show you the right way. So there are a lot of leashes you can choose from. You have the shorter leashes and the long one. If you are a beginner, we recommend the shorter leashes. It's shorter, it doesn't bang all the way when you're kiting. Or if you want to focus on handle passing or unhooking, you need a long leash. So the second thing you need to make sure of, you get a leash with a loop on the back. With the loop on the back, you can connect it really easy on the front side of your harness. So on all the Mystic harnesses, there is a leash eye. This is the right place to connect your leash with. So the right engine harness has a handle pass system. Uh, in comparison to the Majestic X, who doesn't have one. The biggest mistake is uh, that beginners take a long leash and connect it on the back of your harness. This may cause very dangerous situations and you don't want to be in there. So now I'm gonna demonstrate why this is dangerous and you should definitely connect your leash on the front. So if you have the leash on the back like this um, and you release your kite, if something goes wrong, um, your kite is looping, you can't really reach the back of the leash to release your kite all the way. So in comparison to the connection on the back, we now con connect it on the front like this. If something goes wrong now and you release your kite, uh, your leash is always in your reach and you can easily release it all the way and swim back to the shore. So to connect your leash on the front is very easy. Almost all the leashes have the same connection. It's very easy, you pull it out, it's a loop and a stick. Same with this one. The loop goes through, the pin goes through the little loop on the other. Then push it all the way out and slide it back over. This is the right way, it won't go off. So if you're going for a freestyle session, get your long leash, connect it on the leash uh, loop, uh, connect it to your bar on a safe way like this. And this way, if you hook out and you crash, for example, with a handle pass, your leash is always on your side and not at your back. So you can release it safely and you're always safe. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we hope you, we gave you enough uh, information about the leashes and how to connect it properly. Um, see you next time.